The face on the barroom floor, modern version. He walked into the cocktail room, a figure gaunt and grim. The ladies occupied the stools and left no room for him. He doffed his hat and looked about. The barkeep muttered scram. I want a drink, the stranger said. A thirsty man I am. Give me a shot of bourbon, please. I'll take it in a cup. Out, said the barkeep. Out with you. You can't drink standing up. I've got a tale to tale, he said. The women gathered there. All turned to look upon the man, but no one left their chair. I know you think it strange, he said, to see a man in here. We're all so dainty and refined, but let me make it clear. I used to be a happy man before we got repeal, but now I'll never know what time I'll get my evening meal. I loved a girl named Madelon, and beautiful was she. Before those prohibition days, her strongest drink was tea. Some of the ladies laughed outright. A grandma, more refined, emptied her cocktail glass and said, Let's hear what's on his mind. I've searched the town for Madelon. She's somewhere on the roam. The children need their supper now. I want to take her home. I am an artist. From his coat, a piece of chalk he fetched. And kneeling on the barroom floor, a lovely face he sketched. There, that is Madelon, he cried. The women turned to see. If she should drop in here tonight, please send her home to me. He left the place without a drink. A lady fixed her hat and said, If I were Madelon, I'd never stand for that. And perhaps it's meant to be Madelon that said that, right? Um, but it's easy to see it. Well, prohibition increase the power of the mob um and people did tend to stop drinking um it's just there was still a lot of it so passing laws alone isn't going to do it and you got to but you got to break this idea of, oh, let's do this because it's naughty. Because um, there's certainly those people out there. And if you make it so that which is not uh, so um, damaging, I mean, alcohol is one of the leading causes of death in my country, but um, 